The death of any innocent civilian is tragic, and Israel regrets the loss of life. But why are civilians dying? Because Hezbollah is callously using the Lebanese people as human shields, occupying villages, mosques, and private homes to store and manufacture weapons caches that include 12,000 missiles. This is a war crime. Israel strives to minimize civilian casualties, dropping leaflets and repeatedly warning residents to leave for their own safety, and targeting only military objectives, while Hezbollah deliberately targets civilians, striving to maximize non-combatant casualties in both Israel and Lebanon. Hezbollah has built up an enormous terrorist infrastructure, including 12,000 missiles capable of hitting most major cities in Israel. Hezbollah has fired thousands of missiles into Israel, killing civilians, displacing nearly one million Israelis from their homes, and terrorizing almost half of Israel. Any country under such attack has every legal and moral right to defend itself until the enemy is disarmed and unable to threaten its security again. Israel has no choice but to respond to this existential threat. According to the United Nations, Israel withdrew from Lebanon completely in 2000, verifying that not one square inch of Lebanon was left occupied. This is not a border dispute. Hezbollah's stated goal is the total destruction of Israel. The Lebanese government has failed to implement United Nations Security Council Resolution 1559 to disarm all militias, including Hezbollah, and to assert Lebanese sovereignty in southern Lebanon. Further. Hezbollah is actually a part of the Lebanese coalition government and holds two seats in the cabinet. Israel has no choice but to achieve its objectives in this war, namely to remove the threat of Hezbollah. An immediate ceasefire would leave intact much of Hezbollah's capability to attack Israel and would invite further aggression. Israel cannot rely on the UN or other outside forces to disarm Hezbollah and protect Israeli citizens.